Today on Yester Kitchen, we are finally gonna get down to who created the Reuben sandwich, maybe. And I'm gonna make a fantastic spin on that sandwich, straight from the 70s. You're gonna love it. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Jill and this is Yester Kitchen. If you're new here, welcome. It would be an honor to have you join us as we explore retro history through food. Okay, so I know a lot of you have asked and it's been on my very, very long to-do list today. We are gonna talk about the Reuben sandwich. We have rye bread, corned beef, sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, Russian or Thousand Island dressing, all grilled. The most, one of my absolute favorite sandwiches ever. And I know you all love it out there. So where did it come from? Well, there are actually two main stories and then a few little stories. But here's the two main stories and happened a long time ago. So we are in a contest between Nebraska and New York. So let's start with Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska. There is a hotel where there was a hotel called the Blackstone Hotel in Omaha, Nebraska. It's now changed and it's something else, but back then it was the Blackstone. It was, it's a big, beautiful hotel. And there was a poker game, a weekly poker game there. And one of the gentlemen in the poker game's name was Ruben Kolakowski. And another gentleman in the poker game was the hotel's owner. They met every week, they played poker, they were good friends. And around 1925, as the story goes, cause we're not sure, they were playing poker one night and Reuben got hungry and he decided to make a sandwich containing rye bread, corned beef, and sauerkraut. That's it. And guys were looking at him, he ate it, he loved it. And the owner's son worked down in the restaurant kitchen and he got a hold of the sandwich that Reuben created and he added Swiss cheese and Thousand Island dressing. And it just went crazy. They loved it. They wanted the sandwich all the time. They loved it so much that the owner of the hotel decided to put it on the restaurant menu. And the crowd went wild. How can you not? This is like one of the best sandwiches ever. Blackstone Hotel through Reuben, and that's why they called it the Reuben Sandwich, credits themselves with creating the Reuben Sandwich around 1925. Okay, story number two. This one takes place in New York. There is a deli called Reuben's Deli, which is still there. And around 1914, Reuben was working in his deli and it was late at night and an actress came in by the name of Annette Silos. You haven't heard of her? I'm not surprised. But she was Charlie Chaplin's leading lady at the time. So total, total silent screen movie star. She came in one night starving and she just said, Reuben, I'm so hungry I could eat a brick. Can you please make me something? And so he did. He put together a sandwich. Now his sandwich contained Rye bread, ham, not a Reuben, turkey, not a Reuben, <laughs> coleslaw, not a Reuben, Russian dressing, and Swiss cheese. And he gave it to her and she said, oh my God, this is so good, it's so special. You should name this sandwich the Annette Silo Special. And Reuben thought about it and went, hell no, I'm calling it the Reuben Special. And that is how they say the Reuben was created, but it's not exactly the Reuben. So, this is like history. I just love it because you never quite know. Everyone is claiming, saying that they created it. There's also a story of how one of the cooks in the hotel entered the sandwich in a sandwich competition and that's how the Reuben came popular. There's also a story that one of the cooks in Reuben's Deli created the sandwich for his own son but named it after Reuben and that's how it became popular and that's how it started. So see, there's stories everywhere. Does it matter which one is right? because we have an amazing Reuben sandwich that oh, is everywhere. I mean, it's gone way beyond delis now and it is just, the flavors are just fabulous. So I'm not gonna make a Reuben sandwich because we just talked about them. Instead, <laughs> in 1976, this cookbook came out. It's a collaboration cookbook. You know how much I love collaboration cookbooks. Be our guest by the Milwaukee Junior League. And tucked way into this is a recipe for a Reuben casserole. And I wanna thank Helen Bauer Alice for submitting this recipe. No, I don't know her, but I always wanna give credit to the recipe submitters because they're wonderful. We wouldn't have these fabulous cookbooks if they weren't for the recipe submitters. So for Helen, we are making her casserole, which is a glorious, glorious take on a Reuben. So let's make this thing because, oh my God, it has all the flavors in just a little different form. 
So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna get our pan about medium, medium high heat, and in goes two tablespoons of butter. We're gonna let that sizzle for just a second. All right, so our butter's almost melted. First thing we are gonna add are rye crackers. You can find, let me show you, these are rye crackers. They're pretty wafery and thin and crispy and light and fabulous. And there's usually not a lot in the market, so kind of look on the bottom shelf. You will find them, and if not, you can get them online. You really wanna make this casserole. Okay, so rye crackers. What we need to do is we need to crush them. So what I did was I put them in a Ziploc bag and I rolled a wine bottle over them. Crushed, they crush very easily. Now, we have one cup of our cracker crumbs. And in they go, along with a quarter teaspoon of caraway seeds. Ah, you gotta have caraway because there's your whole rye thing. Now we're just gonna kind of mix these. So give me a second. You just want it blended and maybe a little bit toasted. Our crumbs have absorbed the butter and they're just kind of getting all toasty. They're never really not gonna change colors because they're so dark brown. But you just know because all your butter will be gone and it will just be heated through. Okay, I'm gonna get these out of the way and we're gonna put together this amazing casserole. You're just gonna put these to the side for now. Okay, I have a quart and a half casserole. You can use whatever works for you. And the first thing we're gonna do is we have a 16 ounce jar of sauerkraut. Now you wanna drain it. Don't put it in a drainer. Don't waste an extra dish. Don't wash an extra dish is what I'm really trying to say. All you do is you take the lid and put it barely over and just kind of pour out all the liquid, just over the sink. You're fine. See, I like easy, 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 easy. And in to our casserole, every little bit of this sauerkraut goes. Oh, Helen, I don't know if you're still with us, but boy, did you create one amazing take on one of my favorite sandwiches. You gotta try this, it's so easy. By the way, my very retro oven is set to 425. Yeah, it's a little high, but we're not cooking this long, we're just cooking it short because everything's cooked. Next thing we have is corned beef. So I went to the deli and I got a half a pound of corned beef and then I just cut it into little cubes and that's really all you want to do. You just kind of put it everywhere because what is a Reuben without corned beef? And then just kind of spread it around because you really do want it even so every bite will have corned beef in it. You can have your deli cut it thick and cut it into chunks really do whatever you want. It's just, it's a Reuben. Okay, on top of your corned beef, I have eight ounces of shredded Swiss cheese and onto it, it goes. And by the way, I did grease this because that way the cheese will hopefully cooperate. <laughs> Here we go. Look at that. Is this easy or what? I mean, this screams Reuben, right? Okay, then on top of that, I have three tablespoons of Russian dressing that we're just gonna kind of put everywhere. Yes, I made my own dressing and you can too. There it is, my very first video. Actually, Thousand Island Dressing has a pretty cool history. So on to it, it goes. And you can add a little more, a little less. And by the way, the only difference between Thousand Island Dressing and Russian Dressing is Thousand Island has the relish in it, Russian doesn't. So you pick your favorite. You pick your favorite story. <laughs> One has Russian, one has thousand. Now I have two tomatoes. I picked just some larger Roma tomatoes and they're sliced. Now I know Reuben doesn't have tomatoes, but this is Helen's recipe. So I'm adding them. You don't have to, <laughs> but I think it kind of gives it like a little bit of a, a juiciness. I don't even think I'm gonna use the full two tomatoes. You can just, whatever works for you. There we go. There's a good one. Now you start picking your favorites, right? It's like people on the, the soccer team, which by the way, I was always last always last. <laughs> How sad was that? Okay, I'm not using all of them because I think just one layer is perfect. Okay, remember our little crumbs? Our little rye crumbs, butter, and caraway seeds? Okay, and that's gonna go all over the top. Oh my God, you guys, this is just beyond, beyond amazing. It's like, I love Reuben sandwiches, but I absolutely love to have just a little creative spin. And I know what you're doing at home. You're going, oh my God, why haven't I thought of this? That's exactly what I thought when I opened the cookbook and found this recipe. I've been wanting to do this one for a while. Now we take this thing of beauty and put it in the oven just for 20 minutes. Remember, everything's cooked. We just want the cheese to melt and we want it to get all incorporated. So I will see you in 20. 20 minutes has gone by. Take a look. It is just beautifully browned on top. The cheese is melted. The sauerkraut is warm. Ladies and gentlemen, a very old new way to serve a Reuben sandwich, 1976. Thank you, Ellen, for just submitting this recipe and thank you, Junior League, for creating this cookbook. God, I love these, I love these. I know you do too, I hear you from you all the time. All right, so let's see what this looks like on the inside. 
Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, cheesy, tomatoey. <gasps> Fabulous. See, the cheese is all melty. That's a good thing. Come here, you. It's the Reuben sandwich. It's perfect. You've got the dressing in there. You've got every component. The tomatoes are a little spin, but you've got every component of a Reuben sandwich in there. You know you wanna make this. And I wanna hear about it when you do. So we've got our two stories. So what do you believe? Nebraska, New York? We've got the few little ones about the sandwich contest and about the cook at Reuben's Deli making it for his son. So many options. I don't know, if you were to ask me, I think Nebraska sounds the closest to it, but I wasn't there. All I care about is that we have a Reuben sandwich. It's, oh, fabulous, absolutely fabulous. And you know I love the stories. I'm. I could just tell you stories all day. So good, so good. As a matter of fact, the rest is for dinner for me and hubby tonight. And if you try it, you know you have to let me know. If you would like to explore more dishes from your childhood or just the past, I invite you to subscribe. I release new videos every week. In the meantime, there's some more retro dishes for you. And remember, every dish, even the Reuben casserole that hearkens us to the Reuben sandwich, to what story is it? As a story. <laughs> I will see you in the next video.